In this vast colony of half a million acid-spraying weaver ants, there's one that isn't exactly what it seems. An imposter that has infiltrated this colony and has deceived them into thinking it's one of their own. I'm looking for Myrmarachne, the ant mimic jumping spider, one of the most well-disguised predators on Earth. But what happens when this mimic comes face to face with the real thing? And why does it mimic these ants in the first place? To find out, I'm gonna have to find one, which is no small feat. I knew statistically in a colony this size, there should be a mimic spider somewhere in this grove of trees. But after going through countless ants and failing to find any small details that would have outed one of them as an undercover spider, I was beginning to think I may be looking for something that wasn't here to begin with. But eventually, after driving myself half insane staring at these ants, I found my wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't know how I've done it, but out of a sea of thousands of these weaver ants, I have found the one imposter. If you look at this leaf right here, what you see might look exactly like an ant, but believe it or not, this is one of the single greatest mimics in the animal kingdom. This is an ant mimic jumping spider. And its disguise is so perfect that as I'm initially trying to find one of these things, my eyes just glaze right over it. I look at this colony for a bit and I notice that it hasn't moved. And only when I did that double take was I able to tell that this was not an ant. Every aspect of its body is perfectly designed to mimic these ants. It has spots on the side of its head that look exactly like the right position for a weaver ant's eyes. Even its fangs are elongated, crazy long and, and jointed to make it look like an ant's pinchers. And its front legs, it actually lifts them up and bends them to look like an ant's antenna. This thing went so hard in the paint to mimic these ants, but why? Why mimic such a diminutive and small creature when it could mimic anything else? The ants it's choosing to mimic aren't the same ones that swarm over your crackers during a summer picnic. These are weaver ants, one of the most dominant and aggressive species of ant on Earth. I made a whole video covering these guys and their insane society, and a key part of it is how they'll viciously defend the trees they live on from any outside threat. To even touch one of their leaves summons a battalion in the form of acid spraying soldiers. And all the insects who land on the tree become food for the colony. So by pretending to be one of these ants and blending in with the colony, the jumping spider lives in one of the most well-defended areas possible. But how does it defend itself from the greatest threat here? the ants themselves. This spider is positioned incredibly close to an active weaver ant nest, and predictably, a soldier passes by while on its perimeter check. The spider immediately becomes cautious and avoids the ant, turning to face it so it can mount a counterattack. But the ant genuinely seems to not even notice the jumping spider. These two predators come within millimeters of each other and the ant never even looks at the thing. This spider doesn't only rely on its appearance to fool these ants, but it has a secret weapon to make it virtually invisible to them. Myrmarachne have been known to infiltrate the nests of their host ants and eat their larvae. And by doing this, it gains the scent of the colony. Ant colonies use this scent to differentiate them from other members of the same species, so they can decide if any ant they come across is an outside threat. So, by essentially being covered in the blood of their babies, this ant doesn't pay any notice to the spider whatsoever, the very thing it would most want to attack. The spider doesn't see the ant as food either, since weaver ants notoriously taste quite bad to predators. Yet another convenient reason for the mimic spider to pretend to be one. This conflict ended peacefully because of the spider's insane mimicry, but it always has to keep on guard just in case. This spider may mimic purely out of defense. However, there are other mimics out there that do cosplay as their prey, with the sole purpose of pretending to be their friend so murdering them is easier. To learn more about that, check out my video on the bee killer robber fly, and stay tuned for the other bizarre creatures I filmed on my recent trip to the Philippines. And I'll see you guys next time.